They're like the perfect client. They don't move and they don't twitch. They don't complain. And I have complete creative control. From makeup artist to mask maker, an obvious natural progression when it comes to studying the human face. Continuously discovering something new and I find that it's kind of a little bit how people are so different and the tiniest little bit of depth or space changes the overall look. So sometimes I might have an, one idea of how it's starting, but um, it doesn't always turns out sometimes completely different. Kind of market. Here students can explore their alter egos in an intimate setting. We're calling it a masquerade mask workshop. I had a girlfriend who collected masks from around the world and I started to notice how from different parts of the world they were made out of what the resource was in that part of the world. And in BC, our trees and our forests and our papers, one of our big... So I kind of started with that. And when my girlfriend, the mask collector, asked for one, that she demanded she had one for her wall, and I thought maybe I might really be onto something. The mask yeah. beneath the mask is prepared for the night of the big reveal, the final class. <laughs> Just a little bit in the corner. The students get a professional photo with it. We get to come into our lovely costume room here, pick out a costume as part of it. I am anonymous and I'm smiling, but it's, who you know, I don't know what people are thinking when they're looking at me, at me but it's, um, it's kind of fun. It's, you can, you see things differently, I guess. <laughs> the masks are a collage of sorts, combining a paper mache technique and found treasures. I really like the part being able to use and reuse um, recyclable materials or vintage items. And um, my favorite part is being able to customize, make some, some for somebody that has little things. Or uh, I've used music note paper of their favorite song or little charms or bits of jewelry that's broken and just sitting there. So we put it in, make it into something beautiful. Workshops are ongoing, and you can always see works in progress at Island Style Creative Studio. In Campbell River, I'm Marjorie Greaves.